Hi, thanks for joining us today for your latest Hurricane Tracker app video update recorded August 25th, 2013 at 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Well, this week it appears that the tropics are going to begin ramping up as we approach the peak of the hurricane season. First and foremost, we're watching Invest 95L, a very strong tropical disturbance here over the southernmost regions of the Bay of Campeche. This system is moving towards the west-northwest and should make landfall within 24 hours north of Veracruz, Mexico and south of Tampico. The hurricane hunters will be flying out to the system uh, within a couple of hours and based on recent satellite imagery it looks like this system may already be a tropical depression or possibly even tropical storm Fernand and we'll take a look at the satellite on that system in just a moment. The other system we're going to be watching close, closely this week is a strong uh, tropical wave. You can see it here coming off the west coast of Africa. It has a, a great a bit of model support which we'll show you in a couple of minutes. And this system will be moving towards the west and by middle to late week, once it's out over the central Atlantic, we will be monitoring this uh, very closely for develop, development at this time. We're giving the system about a 30% chance of development, and if latest computer model trends continue, we may need to increase that throughout the next couple of days. Here's a look at our uh, vigorous tropical disturbance here in the southern bay of Campeche. If you look at the satellite imagery really close, you can see it's starting to band and starting to uh, really spin up here a good amount. It's moving off towards the west-northwest, and this uh, could become a 50 to maybe 60 mile per hour tropical storm before it makes landfall here in the Veracruz area sometime tomorrow. This is where we believe the system will be tracking somewhere within this red cone just north of Veracruz to south of uh, Tampico, Mexico, where you see the fours. That's the highest uh, probability where the center of a tropical cyclone would make landfall. And uh, if you're south of Veracruz, maybe just a slight chance it could come further south. But uh, we do expect this developing tropical system to move here uh, just north of Veracruz during the next 24 hours. The main impacts here between the orange lines north of Veracruz and south of Tampico uh, very heavy tropical rainfall and uh, tropical storm force winds approaching 50 to 60 mile per hour, especially in the wind gusts, are not out of the question. Now turning our attention to what's happening over here off the west coast of Africa, you can see there was a, a huge blow up of thunderstorms here off of the coast this morning. It's continuing to grow in size and pushing towards the west and it should be moving just south of the Cape Verde Islands uh, during the next couple of days. I want to show you four computer model runs. They're all showing development around Wednesday and Thursday, several hundred miles east of the Lester Antilles. The GFS model, the NAVGEM model, the FIM experimental model, as well as the CMC. So they're all showing a developing tropical depression or tropical storm pretty much in the same location. And with, with that kind of models, with that kind of model consensus, it's very hard to ignore this. So we're going to be paying very close attention. Um, when Aaron came off of Africa and developed, there was a lot more dry air and dust in the atmosphere. This time around, you can see all the brighter white colors, meaning there's a lot more moisture in there for this system to work with, which will help thunderstorm development and growth. So that's one of the reasons uh, we are believing that the computer models might be onto something here. Dry air is, is still a problem here in the central Atlantic. If the system develops uh, where we think it will in, here in the central Atlantic south of this dry air pool, as long as it can stay south of this dry air here in the intertropical convergence zone, the dry air really shouldn't affect it too much. As we saw with Chantal and Dorian, this dry air was located further south over the main development region. So we also have the MJO pulse of uh, enhanced thunderstorm activity, which will be moving across into the Atlantic Basin this week. And that should help get rid of some of this dry air and promote thunderstorm growth for any developing system. This is an image of the lower level vorticity, the amount of spin in the atmosphere underneath the tropical wave. It, it, it does have a very vigorous area of vorticity. And that's uh, when you see a, an area of vorticity like that coming off of the coast of Africa, it's uh, almost uh, a medium to high chance that something could develop. So when it already has vorticity over land, that's not a good sign. 
Last image I want to show you here regarding this wave is uh, the orange and yellow colors indicate the amount of dust in the air. You can see over here, uh, over the uh, central Atlantic, that is beginning to lessen. And there is really no, uh, no dust from the, African, from the Saharan African layer uh, right here over the eastern Atlantic where this system will be moving through. So we don't think dust will be a, will be a major problem with the storm. It could get entrained into it just a little bit. But um, overall, we do see a fairly favorable environment for this system to intensify. Before we end the video today, I want to refer back to an image we uh, created a, a couple of months ago. Over the next several weeks, especially the first two-thirds of September, we are expecting quite a bit of tropical activity here in the main development region. And while there could be some recurves here off of the eastern United States, more than likely we're going to see strong high pressure here over the western Atlantic and that could open the door for possible landfalls really anywhere from Texas all the way up through the mid-Atlantic coast. So we're not forecasting this to happen. We're just letting you know that if you live or have interest in this region over the next few weeks, please pay very close attention to what's going out, what's going on out here over in the uh, deep tropics. We'll be back with another video update likely tomorrow. Uh, but again, I would not be surprised to see a uh, tropical storm form, tropical storm Fernand, out there in the southern Bay of Campeche once the hurricane hunters get out there this afternoon. Thanks for watching and for using the Hurricane Tracker app. It is available at www.hertracker.com. Have a great day and thanks for watching.